Okay, so today we're working on a 2010 Audi A4 Quattro turbocharged four-cylinder. Customer brought it in to replace some front-end parts as well as install a turbocharger. He was saying he was getting a, a turbo underboost code and if you scan it with a generic scanner that's the only code that comes up. But in history it also shows misfires on cylinder one and four and random cylinder misfire. When I look at misfire data, this is going to load in a second here, I think. It shows misfires on a significant number of cylinders. I think it shows misfires on all four cylinders. Now, this didn't give me freeze frame data. I probably have to ID it as a generic vehicle to see the freeze frame data. But there's misfires on cylinder 1, 3,700, 2,883, 1,743, 3,783. So short term field trim at negative 100% or negative 1. I guess that's 1. Yeah, that's 1. Anyways, uh, I'm concerned about these misfires. I noticed it missed when I started it up cold, or cold in the shop here. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at the freeze frame data, IDing it in generic, just have a look at uh, fuel trims. But I noticed this when I was running it. If I remove the oil filler cap, I don't think there's supposed to be that much engine vacuum in the crankcase, so this has probably got a, a problem with the crankcase ventilation system like most of these things develop. So an internal vacuum leak would make it run lean and cause misfires on all four cylinders. And it's not running properly, it's not going to boost properly either, so we're going to investigate the, the vacuum problems until we change this turbo charger. Now this is a look at engine vacuum on this thing connected to a vacuum cord over here. Normally you wouldn't see the vacuum gauge jumping around like that, but this engine runs too smooth, so that probably is a normal condition. I'm going to check the vacuum on the engine oil dipstick location. It doesn't actually have a dipstick this engine, but there is a plug here for a dipstick, so I'm going to take that out and check vacuum there. So the vacuum gauge connected to the uh, engine oil dipstick, and you can hear there's quite a bit of vacuum in the crankcase. Put that up. The spec is a maximum of one inch, and I have between three and five. So apparently it could be this valve here, or there's supposed to be some kind of an oil separator in the oil filter housing that could also cause this, according to what I've read so far. So we'll have to figure out how to differentiate between the upper crankcase one and the lower one. But you can't pinch this hose because it's a convoluted plastic line that takes back into this upper crankcase ventilation valve. But you can disconnect it here, and I have done that. And you can see that engine or crankcase vacuum drops to virtually zero. No change when I pull this hose off. So I believe it needs this crankcase regulator, crankcase vacuum regulator, the pressure regulator. And I think we're going to change that and clear all the codes and see how the vehicle performs. 